All right, hopefully after checking out Terraform in action, you want to proceed, download, install, and configure it. And that is what this module is basically focused on. To begin with, we'll just look at the Terraform installation options available to you. And then we'll just jump into a demo where we will install and configure Terraform for the Windows operating system. The great thing about Terraform is that you can install it on pretty much any major operating system that you want to run it on. You'll see as we download and install it on Windows, it's pretty much just an executable that you can run. And there is a Terraform Enterprise version available as well if you want to kind of expand beyond running things locally. But if you are going to run it locally, we have Linux, Windows, and other platforms. Linux on the left-hand side, 32-bit, 64-bit, pretty much all flavors of Linux supported there. Mac OS X is 100% supported, and that's where a lot of people do run Terraform on as well. And ARM-based systems are also supported. In the Windows world, which we're going to focus on today, 32-bit and 64-bit systems are supported. And if you've got other platforms like FreeBSD, OpenBSD, Solaris, those are all supported as well. And with that, let's move along now and jump in to install and configure Terraform for the Windows operating system. To begin, let's head over to the terraform.io website. So if we type in terraform.io and head over there, you can see straight away we've got getting started, download, here's your version 0.11.7. I can click download and straight away it's going to give me the various options. So Mac OS, FreeBSD, Linux, OpenBSD, Solaris and Windows as we basically discussed. And if I want to do Windows, in my case I'm going to go for the 64-bit version. I simply select this, it'll be a zip file that downloads and I'll just go ahead and select open. And you can see inside the zip file is this terraform.exe file. Now what I can do with that, I can simply copy that and I can make a folder. What I do is on my C drive, if I go down to this PC, go into my local disk C, I create a folder called terraform and I simply put in terraform.exe, I paste it right in there and just to prove it works, I'll just delete the previous one, paste a new one in and that is terraform.exe extracted directly from that zip file. Now you can put it wherever you want. The key thing to note though is that in order to access it, it does need to be in your path. And that could be your path in Windows, it could be your path in Mac if you decided to install on the Mac OS. Uh, but if I go in and I, let's say, go to my command prompt and I go to C CD terraform and I'll do DIR, you'll see my terraform.exe file there. And I can basically execute, you know it's running if you can just type terraform.exe. Now if I go to another folder and I type terraform.exe, in your case it will not work. In my case it will because I've already got it in my path and I'll show you where you put that. But if I type terraform.exe, if it's working, I should be able to run it from anywhere. If you try this immediately, if this is your first time installing Terraform, give this a go. You should see that it errors out at that point. But to make sure it works, what you would do is go to your environment variables. If you're on Windows 10, you can simply type environment and it will come up with edit the system environment variables. If you click this, it's essentially bringing up system properties. If you're on a previous version of Windows, you can right click the My Computer icon go to properties and then you'll be able to access it from here. So you might have seen the screen before with your computer name, but if you go over to advanced and then go down to environment variables, that's this box that you can see on the bottom, click that and here you'll see your various paths. So if we scroll down, you've got system variables, all variables just for the user logged in. I'm actually going to do it as a, as a global system variable. So if we scroll down, you'll see path. If we select that one and click edit, you'll see that I have added C colon backslash terraform as my system environment variable. So anything in that folder is basically accessible to the system as a whole. And you can do the same thing. All you would do is go in, click new, type in C colon backslash terraform, and that will create it for you. Obviously, I'm not going to create it twice. But in that case, you know, C colon backslash terraform. If that's where you put your terraform.exe file, that's what you're going to want to do. If you put it somewhere else, obviously just replace the folder name and path with, with the one that you've decided to use. And with that, you know, click OK, click OK again, click OK again. 
And if all's gone well, you should be able to type in Terraform anywhere in your system path and you should be good to go. If you have any problems with this at all, you know, either check out the Terraform website or just, you know, leave me a comment on the course or drop us an email and we can certainly try to help you if we can, you know, if you have an issue with this particular area. Uh, with that, going back to, you know, Mac for a moment, if I click the Mac, it's also zip files you can see there. And if we want to, we can just go to the guides, select this one, expand out the Get In Started section and click Install Terraform and scroll down and this will tell you how to do it as well, how to verify the installation and you know if you want details on setting the path for Mac or Linux there's a link here that you can simply select and that kind of redirects you to Stack Overflow which is a forum but this is how you would do it is export path equals dollar path colon slash path to directory so in your case that would be your path to the directory and with that, you should be up and running with Terraform and let us know if you need anything on this.